is a magical moment. Unplayable. Anybody in world cricket would have been out to this delivery. Getting it in the right areas. Just a little bit of flight. And look at it, uh, maybe wow. a bit of inside edge. But uh, that's a real beauty. Deserved a wicket. It's expensive, went for plenty, but he's got... turn here rips that is savage outside the line of off stump and no way Rudy Kurtzen can predict that's going on to the stumps either I think the Pakistanis should be aiming at that's a better one that's beautiful that's the wicket that Pakistan have been searching for and that's the brilliance of Wazam Akram he started off with a dreadful delivery to start off this particular spell and then he bowls the unplayable one well, it's all about pitching the ball in the right area. Look at that. No feet movement. And the off stump is knocked back. And we'll see. Akram is ecstatic. That's a big wicket for the Pakistanis. Adam Gilchrist, without scoring a runs, is walking back to the pavilion. Yes! Well, what about that? Michael Vaughan's celebration tells it all. He's got the world's best batsman out with genuine off spin. Gone a long way to doing that for England. Big gap between Bat and Pad and that spun a long way. Sachin Tendulkar dribbling through the extra cover region earlier on, but you know as a batsman if you're driving through that area, you've got to open up just a bit. Spun it back, got through the gap. One centre four for three. Oh, well, a big appeal again. And he's given in. And his turn and hit the back leg and Keith Arthurton probably feels himself a little bit unlucky. Arthurton with this ball pitched way out in the rough and spun a long way back. He was heading towards the stumps but I'm not a very handy ball. Oh, oh he's got him, he's got a wicket, yes! He's got Callas, the girl strikes, that's a big wicket. Good spin and bounce, good catch, good cricket. Callis not happy with the decision again. He stood there for some time. Gilchrist spontaneous. But have a look at this delivery. Speared into leg stump, maybe even outside leg stump. Floats in and then rips across. Don't worry about the new ball and the new wicket. In a new innings and a new year, Jar Callis gone. A good catch by Gil Gil into the attack. And he's bowled him. First ball. A big drifting potentially a full toss the sweep shot was on snuck under the bottom edge Stuart McGill's in Ricky Ponding's out exactly what New South Wales needed at this stage it's been Tasmania's morning so far it's a good piece of bowling actually from Stuart McGill that dipped quite a bit that delivery I think it was going to be a full toss looked like it was going to be a full toss and in the end yeah! oh no and he's bowled in Hasn't played a shot. That's a massive wicket for the Blues. Stuart McGill has knocked over Bradley Hodge for 84. Well, there you have it, the change around the wicket. And that's a beauty from Stuart McGill. It's out the front of the hand, I think. Yeah, that's out the front. Probably wasn't expecting it to turn as much as it did. Hits the rough and just brushes the back pad. Didn't hit any part of his front pad. And he clips the top of off stump. So that is a big wicket for New South Wales. Tough shot free and Healy out there. He's taken uh, another fine catch there today. The one to get rid of Thorpe. Oh. Oh. Useful. Well, that's uh, one area where Shane Warne has been gradually improving in this series. That ball curving a long way, then right out of the rough. And Ian Healy. Uh, has taken it. Don't know how because it's pitched way outside leg stump. He wouldn't be able to see it because.
fall behind, fall in love. 